Mela Shikar Mela Shikar is a traditional method of capturing wild elephants for captive use. The process involves lassoing a wild elephant from the back of a trained one, called a kunki. This practice is prevalent in the northeastern part of India, especially in Assam, and is one of the methods seen in ancient India. Other traditional elephant capture methods include, Keta, bile shikar, snaring, pit method, and decoying by using a female kunki to lure a male elephant. Mela shikar used to be organized twice a year, after Durga Puja and during Baihu. Mela shikar requires the services of a skilled mahout or fandi. This person is able to lasso a wild elephant whilst mounted on another. The fandi, who is well regarded for his abilities, is accompanied by another mahout assistant. Fandis feature in the folklore of northeastern India. Since 1977, this and all other methods of capturing elephants are illegal, but prior to the 1977 legislation, Mela Shikar was used to lasso an estimated 300 to 400 elephants per year in Assam alone. Three distinct reasons make the Mela Shikar method a safe one. Ghazali Shikar is a variation of Mela Shikar. Gazali in Assamese means the young shoots of grasses. Elephants are very fond of gazali that sprout up during premonsoon showers in May-June. They are attracted to grassy patches, giving the fandi a good opportunity to capture them. Before 1977, elephants were under Schedule II of the Wildlife Protection Act, which granted elephants the status of special game for which it could be killed, captured, or traded commercially under license. In 1977, the elephant was brought under Schedule I of the Act, which made its capture illegal. This ban led to the gradual extinction of a line of specially trained mahouts or fandis. According to S.S. Bisht, the former director of Project Elephant and Senior Forest Service Officer, under Section 12 of the Forest Protection Act, permission to catch elephants can only be given by the Center for Population Control and Scientific Research, Last time such permission was given to Assam was in the 80s. The ban has left many of the fandis jobless and homeless. Prohibited from earning a living with their specialized skills, they had to work odd jobs, such as becoming daily wage earners. The government settled 1,000 families in 13 villages near the assam Arunachal border. In 2006, the residents were evicted, their houses were bulldozed or burnt down, and some residents were physically assaulted. Since that time, the jungle has reclaimed the villages. According to Kodu Aksum Haitai Fando Khan Milan Union, an organization working for the rehabilitation of the jobless Fandis, only 37 Fandis are given employment by the government since 1972. According to Jayant Narlakar, Deputy Commissioner of Law Kimper, around 170 families have been provided money and land in the district. Renowned elephant experts and veteran fandis express their reactions and opinions as follows. In 2009, Assam has sought permission from the center to revive the Mela Shikar. The state wants to put the captured and tamed animals on government duty, to carry guards and tourists in wildlife sanctuaries and to transport EVMs and polling officials to remote areas. It also hopes that the move will contain the human-elephant conflict.